Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Size Leg RC. Um, I can only apologise. I keep buying these cheap microphones off um, cheap websites, and it, you know, it's these ones here. You'll have seen them. It just now that it, 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 it all lights up, but the Bluetooth connectivity has just decided it doesn't want to work. Um, so I went out. I'm filming this after I made the video. I went out yesterday to County Durham RC Crawlers, their track. Um, I will put all the links for the address, the prices, everything you need to know in the bump. Um, I just wanted to remake this intro because the last intro that I made yesterday was a bit garbage because of the wind and the microphone. It's just, you know. So anyway, yeah, so welcome back to Size Leg RC. We're going to the crawler track today. We're going to be taking <coughs> the mighty Texan. Um, just for if you are just tuning in, you've never seen this channel before. We're taking this, the FTX Texan. My FTX Texan is modified. It's got Proline trenches on it. Um, it's got a Crawlmaster motor. It's got Hobbywing ESC. It's all pretty much decked out. I have left the original suspension on this because, I mean, the articulation on this thing is just magnificent. It's the suspension, you can't fault it. Um, and it is paired with a, sorry, it is paired with a Dumbo RC transmitter, purely for range and just for comfortableness. I love, I love the feel of the Dumbos, they're brilliant. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do bits of voiceovers on this video again because microphone issues. It's like a never-ending thing with me, isn't it? Microphone issues. So yeah, so let's 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 check it out. Um, and like I said, I'll put all the bump on the screen and down below in the details and all that jazzle. So boys and girls, as we are walking through the compound, you can see that for the space that these guys have got, they have really utilised it well. So coming up here, we've got a couple of workbenches. There's a guy there doing a bit of work. And we've got another workbench over there. And look at that. That is, I mean, that is tiny. What What on earth is that? That is tiny, but fun. Um, that chap there, he actually travelled all the way up from Warrington just to visit the track. As you can see there, now on the screen, we have got the Class 1 track. So the Class 1 track, what I've been told is pretty much any sort of crawler, trail truck could have a good crack at that and, and, and possibly do OK on it. We're moving around to the Class 2 section. So that there is the Class 2 section. They've got it all marked out for competitions and such. What I'm walking around here, guys, is uh, they've, they have, I am so proud of this these this group of lads. They, they've made this disabled friendly. As a disabled bloke, you know, they've made it disabled friendly. You can get your wheelchair all the way around the course, up to that back corner there, which is the front end of that purple beetle. Um, everything's relatively in reach and distance if you were in a wheelchair. So you can come all the way around here. As I say, you, you can get your wheelchair, your mobility scooter, into all the nooks and the crannies, which I think is fantastic. So that's the back part there of the uh, the Class 3. So here we are on the Class 3 section, which does look a bit more rough and a bit more jagged and a bit more ragged. Um, I, you've got a guy there, we've got a guy there, look, he is just, he's got a proper competition crawler, um, just making light work of it really. Um, I am going to put the Texan on here, guys, <clears throat> and we will see see how far the Texan can get. As you all know, the Texan is mighty, um, and it rarely it rarely gets defeated. But we shall see. I love these beetles. Absolutely love the fact they've used a couple of scrap beetles um, to crawl over and just to just to play with. Um, I believe this did originally start out as a scrapyard, and he had a couple of things left over that he just sort of didn't want to part with because he had an idea look at this thing go man it just makes i mean this is this is a proper crawler so we've also got a cafe here guys just a small cafe um if you are going to come to this track they do like to know if you come and if you can pre-book that would be brilliant um obviously look at all that man get breakfasts on a morning and then they swap over to your burgers and your chips and oh my god there's a child so I do think this is a pretty cool little course. Like I say, for the space that they have, they've utilised it really well, I think, for the rock crawlers. 
Obviously, it's, it's, it is catered for the rock crawlers. That's me dad. He's going to be the guest oh, cameraman God. today. <laughs> I was going to try and get him to drive, but he's, um, he's, he's, he's not feeling up great because it's not a full scale Land Rover. So I think he just thinks I'm below him. I'm some sort of peasant with an RC car. But anyway, he's going to be the dedicated cameraman today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the Texan out, which is just there in the boat. And we'll just go <laughs> we'll see what it does. So the mighty Texan and see, let's say we're on the, we're on the class one side of things here. It's around about this time when my dad starts telling me how to drive my RC car. Um, well, the less said about that, the better. We'll just focus on his camera work. So it, the Texan made light work straight away there of that almost vertical cliff face. Um, oh, it's getting into a bit of strife there. So can I get it out of it? Of course I can, it's the Texan. Come on, man, come on. This is the class one side, as I say. They reckon that um, the likes of the Texan, um, that kind of truck, and pretty much any sort of truck could have a have a crack on this sort of section and, and be pretty comfortable. Um, I want to see if the Texan can actually just, you know, crack on and just do the lot, you know, and see how much, um, see how much trouble it actually gets into. Whoa, there we go. There's its, uh, there's its first fall down, and uh, as they say, there's the hand of God. Disabled God. So far, so good. It's making pretty decent work of it. Yes, I'm having to reverse absolutely not competition conditions because I've been losing points left, right and centre. I do apologise as well, guys. You probably can hear talking in the background. Uh, that's just purely sound from the, the, the phone when, when my dad was recording there. Um, I was, I was, I had the microphone and I was trying to explain things, but obviously you can't hear that that well, hence why I'm doing the voiceover. Really cool little bridge, this. I love how they've just sort of spattered concrete over it and and chucked a few little pebbles in there and stones and stuff it's quite a cool little bridge i enjoyed doing this was the Texan's second fall that was its second tumble um, now we are heading to the sort of the back side of the class one area now the thing with the Texan is <clears throat> I know I keep I keep mentioning the Texan and that's it's because I'm using it you know what I mean the thing with the Texan is it's got a very pointy sticky out front sort of nudge bar on it which I am considering removing because it did prove quite difficult on the rocks because it just gets in the way, it hits the rock first before you can get a chance to get the wheels done. But what I've noticed is if I take that off, the wheels should hit rock first, you know, and uh, make my life a heck of a lot easier. So this little section here, this is classed as the bonus line um, of the of the, this class one stage. So obviously, naturally, I decided that the Texan was capable of doing it, and there you go, it is, it's down. However, I didn't manage to get the, I didn't realize I was meant to go through those balls there, so I didn't quite get the angle right when I was coming down. So now we are moving on to the class two area. I do hope I'm getting these classes in the right order as I am talking through this video, otherwise uh, the, the guys at the track will be telling me off. But yeah, so this is the class two area, so it's a, it is, it's a little bit more difficult, it looks a little bit more, a little bit more ropey and a bit more rocky, with some slightly more vicious angles, not entirely sure why I chose this route, I just thought, you know, it looked good, let's just see what the Texan can actually do.
so we're just going to drop off this drop now which is quite a steep drop uh, the camera doesn't actually do it much justice but it's not too bad the Texans sometimes a little bit top heavy but it seemed to hold its own going down there this did you see the bumper hit the rock first there that's that's my issue with the Texan at the moment um, the bumper just crunches straight off the rock and then I've got nothing I've just got nothing um, so yeah So this is the front windscreen of the Purple Beetle. Um, I did struggle with this, I'm not going to lie, I didn't get up this. Um, so I'm going to cut parts of this video out because I did struggle on with this for about 10 minutes. The the front end of the Texan, it, it, it just it was lifting too much. Um, and then because it's just a quite a narrow bit of concrete up that windscreen, as soon as I was sort of sliding left or right, I was hitting the glass and the wheels just wouldn't grip on the glass. What I ended up doing was just lifting the Texan up and putting it on the roof of the Beetle and then just coming down the opposite side. So we're kind of on to the, um, the class three sort of section, um, or part of it anyway. <clears throat> um, just quite rocky, very jagged. Some of the proper crawlers just make this look easy. Although the Texan is doing okay, um, the body, the bumper, you know, the weight, everything just gets in the way a little bit. Now, around about this sort of part of the video, I don't know if you can remember a while back, a couple of months maybe, I did a video with the Texan up at Hill End, um, up in the Weirdale area of County Durham. And I decided to, you know, put the Texan in the river and drive down the rapids. And it was in the water for quite some time. And it's done that over the years, a few times, it's been in the water quite a lot submerged. The, uh, the servo broke on that day at Hill End. I dried it out um, when I got home. It seemed to be working okay, and I've had the Texan out a couple of times, and it's been okay. Today, on this occasion, the servo started being a bit flighty. Um, it was as if it had lost its proportionalness, so you were slightly turning it, and it was just full locking, which made things difficult on this bit here. The rig that's just been on the screen there, guys, I believe it is a Charisma Coyote, same as Harry's. Um, obviously, it's got a different body on. By the looks of it, he's got different wheels and tyres on. Not sure what other upgrades uh, that the chap had, but uh, yeah, it, it looked pretty cool. <laughs> So guys, now you saw the, now you've seen the Texan sort of uh, bumble its way around the course. I'm going to just show you a bit of footage of what a proper crawler actually makes of this course and, and what you could do if you've got a proper crawler and you wanted to bring it here. Just ludicrous angles. 
Right, when you go to the cafe, look at that. That is a burger and a half. Absolutely amazing. Are you a happy man? Oh, that I, burger? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So this one, he's put a bit of weight on the front end. Let's see if he can get up there. Just want, to remind, just want to remind you all again, the taxi got up no bother. What was that about the Beetle? Sorry, I didn't hear you there. What Beetle? The Beetle you couldn't get up and I crawled up with no bother? No Hablo Ingles. I mean, you didn't crawl up it with no bother, did you, really? It did to yours, it did. <laughs> Bit of power. <laughs> yeah, that's what you tend to do in the Land Rover, isn't it? Is, yeah. Foot down. It's all back again. Voice over man here. This is a, this is a proper crawler, uh, similar to the one that I showed you before, but different in so many ways. Aiden's just uh, cruising around here now, and basically just <laughs> this just makes it easy. Um, I mean, he has taken the easy lines, the Texan, let's be honest, the Texan did take the harder lines. Come on, Aiden, pull yourself together. <laughs> um, but no, this is what, this is, if you've got a pro crawler, uh, 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 um, MOA comp crawler, or whatever they call them, you know, you come down here, have a bit of fun, it is pretty cool, like. Just in case you thought the Texan was ludicrous, boys and girls, look at this thing. What scale is this? 124. 124. <laughs> 60 quid yesterday. And all Fantastic. I've done is put some hairbands on it to oh, drop it down goodness. a bit so it's less bouncy. And that's Fantastic. It. Put hairbands around the chassis to keep the suspension from being less bouncy. I take it it's got friction shocks. Yeah. Yeah, friction shocks. You can get oil shocks for it apparently. Yeah, I've seen some of these people modify them. That is cool. So we're back on Aiden now, showing some of his skills, um, and, and now we're back on this guy, because uh, I can't remember his name, I do apologise guy, I can't remember your name, but he's just broke that beautiful little car. <laughs> well, you know, this is what happens when you take a tiny car to a giant rock crawling space. Anyway, back to Aiden, back to Aiden, just making things look really easy. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a sort of angle that the Texan couldn't have done because it probably would have fallen over. Can't recover that one. There's a hand that got there from Aiden. What we're learning from this race 
Because how many times the Aidens had to pick that up? It's no better. It's no better than the Texan, is it? I've told you all for years the Texans are based. In all seriousness, though, I am just winding people up. We know that, that we know that rigs a, a prop crawler. But if he's a free, we'll have a quick chat with Aiden. When are you normally open, Aiden? Normally open on the Sundays. Sundays. How much is it to come in? Fiver. Fiver. Five quid. And as I've showed you, you've got burgers, you've got coffees, you've got cold drinks. And I did just hear that chap over there talking about breakfast food as well. So in the morning, we'll do bacon and sausage. Bacon and sausage on the morning. Eggs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> I think I might have to rock up on a Sunday morning. So they're open, you're open all day, aren't you? What, what, what times do you open up? So it's about 9 till 5? 9 till 5, so you get breakfast stuff on the morning, around about the 12 o'clock area. It's just sitting there, they'll switch up to your burgers and your chips and what have you for your dinners. So yeah, can't get them crawlers. Come and check it out. I'll put the address and everything below.